Today, I'm going to show you how to add interactivity to your Figma design using Smart Animate. Let's get started. So if you're new to my channel, I make videos on UX, UI design, and front-end coding. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment down below so I know what kind of tutorial you would like to see next. So jumping right into it, I'm opening up a mobile project that I'm currently designing with Figma. It is a job finder application and I currently have two states already designed. I have this tab bar at the top that represents the different areas of this application. So initially the user is on the all jobs tab so they can see all the new jobs that have been posted and there's also a search box. And then I have a section of the jobs that they apply to and then also an area where they could save a job. So I have these two states already designed, but I want to add interactivity to this to make it feel like a real application. So right now this prototype doesn't have any interactivity at all. So if I click this play button at the top, it would open up this tab that I could see my actual prototype. And right now there's absolutely no interactivity like I said, so I could click anywhere on the page and nothing will happen. I want to give the user the ability to click on the apply tab and actually have this highlight bar move under applied and then also show the different content that's actually on that page. So I'm going to go back into my prototype and I essentially need to link these two frames together. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to click on this word applied because that's what I want the user to tap on to bring them to this other state. So I'm going to click on that word applied and then I'm going to go to the prototype tab in the upper right. And now when I click on it, this word applied has a different treatment. There's this little blue circle next to the word applied, which will allow me to attach that to another element on the page. So I'm going to take this circle and click and drag and bring it over to this other frame. When I do, this pop-up now appears and allows me to specify exactly what type of interaction I want on this page. So I can say on tap, on drag, there are various different kinds of interactions I can add, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it as on tap. Right now I have it set to navigate to, but you can open an overlay or there's other kind of treatments you can add. If you're interested to see how to animate an overlay with Figma, I have a whole tutorial on it. So I'll link that video in the description below. And then you can indicate how you want it to animate. So you can do an instant animation or there's other kinds of movements that you can add to it. For right now, I'll just leave it as instant. And if I go back to my prototype, if I click on that word applied, now the page has totally changed. But it didn't have a smooth transition, it was very sudden. And this is very typical of other animating software where it will bring the user from one page to another without any kind of really cool transition effects. So this is okay, but I want it to feel like a real application. So I'm going to go back to the prototype tab and under that interaction, I'm just going to click on it again. And instead of having it as an instant animation, I'm going to change it to smart animate. So I just changed the type of animation and now let's see what happens. I go back to my prototype and I click applied and now we can actually see that bar actually move. Now the reason why that bar moved is because I labeled that element as the same exact name on both artboards. So in this state, the name is tab bar and in this state, the name is tab bar as well. So basically the way that this works is that if two layers have the exact same name and there's a transition from one artboard to another using Smart Animate, Figma will actually create the animation for you so you don't have to do anything. This is really cool and powerful and allows us to add really cool natural transitions between pages. So if I go back to this tap interaction, we can see that it's set to 300 milliseconds, which felt a little slow. So instead I might set it to 150. You can also change the curve as well. Going back to my prototype, I click the word apply and it's a little faster. This is looking really cool, but I wanna add the same interactivity to go back to the previous tab. So I'm going to go back into here. In this state, I'm going to click the jobs tab and bring the user back to this page. And I want it to have the same kind of interaction. Great, so now I can transition from one page to another. One thing to note here is that the content just fades from one state to the next, and that doesn't have a smooth transition. So instead, I want it to feel like the entire page is shifting to the left or to the right. So now let's apply a similar concept to these actual cards. 
So these cards are actually components. So this first one is the main component and these are just duplicates of that main one with overridden copy. If you're brand new to Figma components, I have an entire tutorial that goes over that specific topic. I'll link that video in the description below as well. So now we have to figure out, well, how are we going to have these cards animate? So initially I renamed all of these cards to have unique names. So I just called it job one, job two, job three, and so on. These ones have different names. So this is five and this one is six. So now I want to apply a very similar concept to get from this state to this state by having the cards actually move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this artboard and I'm going to move it over quite a bit. So that way there's enough room between each one. Now, when the user clicks the applied section, I want it to seem as if these cards are coming in from the right side. And I want those other cards to look like they're leaving towards the left. So I'm actually going to take these cards and I'm going to copy them by clicking command C. I'm going to go back to this frame and paste it by clicking command V. Now I don't want it to be here initially, obviously. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and the arrow key to move it over to the side. So now these cards are technically floating in space over here, but they are associated with this frame. So now if I were to go back here and go to my jobs and then click applied, we can see that those actually animate in as well. Now we want the other content on this page to behave in the same way. So here I'm going to grab all of these. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go to applied and then paste it and I'm going to move them outside of the artboard. So now if I go back here, I click applied, we can see the whole page transitions. Now you can leave it like this if you want, but I want it to actually fade and transition at the same time. So I'm going to go back over here. And for these states that I already have selected, I'm going to go back to the design tab. And instead of having the layer be 100% opacity, I'm going to set it to zero. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the hidden components of the first tab. So now I'm expecting to see not only a transition in the X direction, but also an opacity change. So I go back to my prototype, I click applied, and now we have a transition and opacity change. This is a really cool and easy way to make your prototypes interactive. So there you go. That's how I animate my Figma designs using Smart Animate. Please let me know if you have any questions on the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.